Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another U4. Let's continue. Uh, we actually got to deal with them here. It's going to be a fight, which we should win because they only have infantry. Uh, but yeah, definitely winning this. At least I hope. Yeah, we just have the morale. That's like our main advantage right now. Just destroyed them purely based on morale. That's all that happens. Okay, so go to Tambov and then, you know, do more stuff. So, Golden Horde. Are you going to become my vassal? Nope. Looks like they're really against that idea. Which is fine. Looks like they just need a bit of time to consider it. Oh, the... We actually just forgot this, which could have helped a lot. Wow, that's stupid. <laughs> could have taken that ages ago, and yeah, I guess probably some of you were like, Prince, what are you doing? Just get that, then you'll win the fights more easily. Oh uh, man, maybe. Well, we still wouldn't have... It still wouldn't have changed the outcome of the fight against Snow Guy, though. Like, come on. Uzbek just messing us up, and now Timurids is the next one. Thanks, Uzbek. It's completely your fault. So I, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. Mm, I w actually want to go for two. Uh, yeah, let's go take that. Once we have that, it should make things easier. Right? Like, it should... Hmm. As long as we hold Golden Horde as a vassal, it should be pretty good for us. Then again, hmm. I do want Ukik kicking Kana Day back. Okay, so we hold that, but it's not enough. Clearly not enough. Okay, you want to fight me here? Fine, fight me there. I'm gonna go there with all my troops. Cruelty of merchants. Okay, as you wish. Now I'm just gonna go there, and I guess they might actually support that fight too. Nope, they decided not to. That's fine, just giving us extra war score, that's not per actually perfect. Looks like they're gonna go there again, so... Hmm. Okay, just consolidate regiments for a far better fight. Okay, there we go. Really, loss of stability. Of all things, just get it up. Really, Golden Horde? You actually got that back? You're annoying, but I'm gonna go kill you again. Jeez, though, what have these guys done to us? See, sometimes allies just... I should have actually just declined that, because I should have known that they would not have been able to handle that war. A uh, golden horde. No. It's not quite what I want, I'm sorry. Where exactly are you going? Ooh, Muscovy wants to destroy them once again. It looks like they actually will be able to. Most likely, anyway. Okay, so this is still not going the way we want it to. We'll arrive on the 23rd, which should be just in time to completely destroy this uh, stack of Golden Horde. There we go. Now I can just get away from here. Or no, actually, I can, like, kind of split the stack up a bit. I can go siege this back. Yeah, or actually just split it even more up in weird ways. <laughs> okay, so still not enough, but once we get this, it might just be enough. I wonder, is Ryazan gonna come with it or not? That's the big question. We'll see. Now, do we have enough? Just barely not. That's insane. That is just insane. Okay, now we do. So... Zani Vassal, Golden Horde, will become a vassal. So does this make Ryazan? Nope, that makes them... Uh... Oh wait, no? Oh no, it's they are still a vassal of Golden Horde, but vas Golden Horde is my vassal, so... So I have like, a secondary vassal, kind of? Like, okay. Wow, okay, Golden Horde doesn't like me, which... I mean, I can understand completely, you know? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Okay, so where's our armies? Yeah, let's just set, send them up here. But yeah, Golden Horde, our vassal, nice. 
However, we gotta fix up a lot of things with them, because... Hmm, rebellious attitude. You should not be rebellious, my friend. So what we want to do now is just get rid of all our mercs. Okay, so disband this unit. There we go, now we just have like our cav, so we can send every cav unit back. Increase army maintenance, which is gonna give us some money, but hey, like, whatever. Just uh, multiple all our, all our forts. Despite being in this annoying war here. Yeah, teamies should just give up that war. Give up the war, Timmies. Sadly, these guys just actually hate us. They want my provinces. This is not particularly good, but wow, look at this war. Yeah, this is great. Muscovy is going to lose this war for sure, I think. It's actually precisely what we want. So Golden Horde not hating us. Hmm, that's going to be good. Economy actions, no... Post and an insult. That's definitely not what I want to do. My war exhaustion, though, is insanely high. Just look at that. Okay, let's just reduce it right now because I don't want to deal with crazy stuff. Even though it's a waste of diplomatic power, I just don't need diplomatic power, you know? I don't care about diplomatic power. I really don't. I just don't. All I care about is admin tech and uh, military. Yeah, of course, I need to westernize, but westernizing is gonna be hard. Like, we gotta do so many things in order to fix that problem. But hey. Let's see. War exhaustion. Yeah, it's gonna go down. Well, actually, it's not going down because we're at war, but hey. So, Golden Horde, as long as we make them not hate us, then that's gonna be good. Because have a core, aggressive expansion, declared war. Yeah, that's going up very nicely. And improved relations, of course. Of course, this is gonna be nice once they're no longer rebellious. Interactions, no. Uh, no, no, no. No, that's not good. Nope. Sorry, Golden Horde. I'm not gonna give you anything. I was thinking about it, but I'm not gonna give you anything. I just want my money back. What's given us this inflation? We have gold? Yeah. Of gold. Where's the gold actually? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Bashgrid. We did lose some provinces though, but they're they weren't the best provinces. So yeah, we'll be able to get them back as cores as well. So. Just oh, they have Crimea though, and we have Timurids for like. Uh. And these guys also. Yeah, we have an old treaties. So hmm. no guy just like. Destroy. They, they took stuff from us. They took stuff from others as well. Now, Golden Horde, how many troops do you guys have? Looks like only 1k at the moment. I hope you're going to make more. Still, though. Yeah, like, I hope Golden Horde annexes uh, Ryazan. So. Ah, <laughs> nice liberty desire. But yeah, they will not hurt us at the moment, because, hey. Oh, goodness. Lose diplomatic power. We don't care about that again. So Muscovy is just getting completely... It's not... It's not losing this. Then they're stronger than I thought. Yeah, that's that's a lot of troops. They have the most troops of the people we know. That is pretty insane. That is really insane. 
But hey, at least we have some money. Okay, we can make 4,000 more. So that means 2k each, right? Okay. Well, if I click this, one, two, yes. Oh, not enough manpower. Well, as you would expect. Da -da -da. Yeah, I just gotta wait a little bit longer. Well, it's peace, so let's just speed it up, you know. Add one here and then add one more. Then you have 20 troops. Radical research. Uh, okay. Well, the piety is good. We want the piety. Of all things. That's over. No. Take the province. No. Oh, seed Voronez too. Furnace. Is that our thing? Mm, we just have a claim. We lose our... Yeah, well... Hmm, should we take the province? Yes. Let's, let's do that. Because we can... You know? <laughs> the more we have of the Golden Horde, the uh, better it's going to be, I guess. Though now, like, it's gonna decrease the, yeah, the thing. It's, they've taken a province from us, so. I don't like that. Use the tax. Ah, fine, do that. Voronez, there is some decent unrest here. Which can be cured with slightly increased autonomy. So that's fine. I mean, as long as, yeah, I just hope that, I guess, technically, I can... Wow, Timurids just got destroyed here in that peace deal. That was not a good peace deal at all. Look at what's Muscovy doing here. Just, just feeding Novgorod, defeating Lithuania, defeating everything in their path. Everything and everyone. Okay, so I can actually, I, I guess. Hmm. No, they did not just do that. They did not just do that. They did not just do that. I think it might be game over. Oh no. Oh no, increase army maintenance. Activate all forts. I think this is not looking good. I think Muscovy wants to do something. This is not looking good for us. Based on what they're trying to do here. And I can't find myself an ally. No. I like to their stupid. Yeah. This isn't good. I need some sort of ally that I can rely on, but there's no ally here that can be relied on. Like, not nothing. In Crimea, we just alienated them, so yeah. There's actually nobody who will fight with us. Even Novgorod's like, nope. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I think we're just screwed. Yeah, I think we're just screwed here. We might just die. Yeah, they have 33. We have 20,000 troops, okay? But still. It doesn't hold a candle to what Muscovy has. Plus, they're like... I don't like where they're sending their troops at all. Well, at least we got this as a core, right? Terp derp. It's not gonna help, though. And even if we have, like, these troops here to help us, it's really not enough. I'm gonna boost ability just in case, you know. It's gonna help things slightly. Okay, try to ease the tension. Yeah, ease the tension. Ease the tension. I don't want anything crazy to happen. Look, now these guys, they will not hurt us that much. Can do this soon once it's below zero. Or actually above zero, I should say. We can go for the next melt tech, but look. Oh, we're, we would actually be ahead of Muscovy, and this is a pretty significant tech too, as you can see. That would be nice if we could be ahead of them. Hey. That's gonna be really difficult. Okay. 
So yeah, that's enough for now. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video. I'll